What is going on everybody? My name is Ian and welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, I am going to be showing you guys how to sprint properly. Basically what I mean by this, I'm going to be showing you all the perfect running form. Whenever you're sprinting, I'm going to be telling you all what to do and basically how it should look so that you won't get injured and so that you'll get faster whenever you're sprinting. So one thing I quickly want to mention before we get into today's video is we had our district meet on Thursday and I ended up getting fourth in the 400, which was kind of a disappointment, but I bounced back and we got uh, first in the 4 by 400 meter relay. As you can see, we got our medal for this shiny gold medal. It has a nice little engraving right here, and it even says freshman boys 4 by 4 on the back. So I'm pretty happy. I think it looks really cool. And I'm just really happy that I ended up winning something in district. Also, if I do sound a little bit dead to some of y'all, it's probably because I just listened to Lil Pump's new song, and I might have lost like, you know, a couple hundred brain cells, but I think I'll be okay. I think I'll still be able to make this video, and you know, hopefully I don't drop dead during the middle of this video, and if I do, well, sorry, I guess. But anyways, let's get into the topic of today's video. So, in my opinion, there are three key things that you need to focus on whenever you're sprinting. You need to focus on your arms, you need to focus on your head, and you also need to focus on, of course, your legs. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is our arms. First thing you wanna know whenever you're using your arms, you want to have your arms, uh, pretty much during the entire sprint, you wanna have your arms at a 90 degree angle, because that'll allow for the maximum amount of pumping, you know, because you have to pump your arms in order to move your legs. And if you bring your arms down like this, you may think that you're pumping your arms, but you're not really, because you know, you're not bringing your elbows back whenever you're doing this. Also, this just wastes energy. It allows you to tire out a lot more easier, which will basically make you more fatigued, and then you won't run as fast. Also, another thing for the arms is, whenever you bring your arms up, you wanna make sure that uh, your knuckle doesn't go past your eye. Usually it goes around like up to your eye and then it goes back down. But if you go up past your eye, that can just lead to A, it can lead to overstriding and B, it can just lead to you fatiguing yourself because you're just wasting more energy than you have to whenever you bring it up too far. So make sure to only to bring it around to about your eye and that should be the highest you should bring it up to. Also, whenever you're doing this, make sure to keep your shoulders relaxed. Don't tighten them by bringing them up or by bringing them down because if you bring them down, that'll just increase the tension of everything below, which will basically lead to a very tight and fatigued race. That's usually how I run. I have a problem where I usually run like this with my shoulders down, which just makes me a lot more fatigued. I've been trying to fix it for a while and I've had very little success, but I'm gonna try a lot more this season. Hopefully it'll work. Tensing your shoulders by bringing them up like this, that also isn't a good thing because it can lead to your upper body tensing up and then that can also lead to tension going down here, tension in the arms and especially up in the shoulders, which will make it a lot harder to bring your arm back, which, you know, gets that key uh, arm drive, you know, leg driving up and all that. So just make sure not to keep your shoulders up or down as that'll lead to tension. Just relax your shoulders. Now that we have pretty much the key parts of your arms uh, all together, I'm gonna show you what it looks like, you know, when you put everything together. Uh, this is what your arms should be looking like whenever you sprint. You know, keep them at 90 degrees, relax the shoulders, don't bring them up, and pump your arms like this. Remember, I'm not bringing my hands above my eyes. I'm just re I'm running relaxed, bringing my arms back, keeping them at 90 degrees, and remember, don't do this, because that's just gonna tie you out a lot more easier. So remember, guys, Shoulders relaxed, don't bring your arms too high, keep your arms at a 90 degree angle, and bring your elbows back as well, so that you can get the maximum power out of your arms, and that'll transfer down to your legs, open up your stride, and just make you faster altogether. Okay, so next thing we're gonna talk about is we're gonna talk about our legs. And now, while there are a lot of things that can go on with your legs whenever you're sprinting, the main thing you wanna remember when you're sprinting is that you have to drive your knees up. Uh, there are many reasons why you have to do it, but the main reason is because A, it'll just increase the power, it'll increase your arms, it'll increase the usage of your arms, which will then transfer to longer strides, which will make you faster. If you have that turnover, then that's good. Uh, just using the correct form, driving your arms back, and bringing your knees up, that's what's going to give you that extra kick, and that's, when it, that's what's going to make you extremely fast. And like I said before, 
arm movement really helps with this. If you bring your arms and your elbows back like this, remember keeping it at a 90 degree, 90 degree angle, then that will transfer to your knee and that will in turn bring your knee up as well. So I'm just gonna use my arms and my legs. See how my knee is going up whenever my elbow is going back. Remember, keep the 90 degree angles, bring your knees back in terms that will get your elbow back as well. Also, you wanna make sure that you're not forcing your stripes to go longer because A, that'll make you more tired, it'll make your arms look weirder, which will obviously make you more tired, and B, uh, that can cause overstriding, which can make you a lot slower because while you may be getting that longer stride length, your, tone, your turnover will start to decrease and just keep on decreasing for the longer it gets. So remember, don't make it too long. Just don't try and force it. Use your arms to drive those knees up. That will in turn get you that stride length that you need. It will get you the perfect stride length and then you will go as fast as you possibly can. Now, when talking about the head, the thing what you want to do is you want to keep your head straight, okay? Keep, keeping your head up like this, that's gonna basically break your lean. It's gonna make you lean back like that, which is gonna slow you down. Leaning your head down like this, that's gonna cause tension on your neck, your shoulders, and your back. So keeping your head straight is the best thing for you. Now I'm gonna show you pretty much everything put together. Now remember, keep your arms at a 90, 90 degree angle, keep your head straight. Don't be looking to the left, don't be looking up, don't be looking down, and drive your knees up. Basically, this is what it's gonna look like. As you can see, uh, hands are, arms are at 90 degree angle, knees are driving up, and my head isn't doing anything. It's just staring at the wall, it's staring straight ahead. That's gonna do it for today's video. Hopefully this video helps you fix your stride and hopefully it helps you get faster altogether. If you liked what you saw in this video and you haven't really seen any other videos by me, feel free just to, you know, click on my channel, click the subscribe button and view some of my other videos. I know I do some other videos on running tips. I do some Halo videos occasionally. So if you want to look at those, by all means, please do. Also, if you want to leave a comment, please go ahead and do so. I love reading comments. It's probably my favorite part of YouTube. So if you want to do that, just please go ahead and do. That's going to wrap up today's video. I'll see you all in the next one and have a fantastic day. This is Ian signing out.